Hey, 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 what is happening guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got something new today and of course we all know the sacking of Pochettino. So we've got this man, Diego Maradona, who in real life has also been, uh, just left his club um, out in Mexico, I think it is, and he's now moved to Tottenham. So it's going to be a big one. We, um, we're looking to rebuild Tottenham. Tottenham's sacked uh, Mauricio Pochettino and uh, Diego Maradona is going to step up to the plate. He's introducing to all the players there, meeting the backroom staff, uh, getting ready to, to go onto the training field, meeting all the big, the big players. Of course, he was chatting to Harry Kane there. Uh, he's looking at the facilities around and about. And yeah, I'm very excited for this. Uh, for the series, it's something different, um, something relating to, to real life things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please uh, let me know in the comments or leave a like or and share the video, of course. But yeah, of course, we've got this guy, Diego Maradona. He's stepping up to the plate to play, uh, to coach uh, Tottenham. And uh, hopefully he can be uh, Mauricio Pochettino's successor at the club. So yeah, the whole idea of this series is um, I'm just going to go absolutely crazy with transfers. Obviously trying to keep them as realistic as possible, but um, I've gone ahead and and uh, bumped up the, the transfer fee, um, or the starting budget should I say. Um, so I, th I think it's going to be a big one. I'm, I'm hoping that we can make some massive, massive signings in this, in this series. And uh, yeah, please guys, I need you guys to, to comment, let me know who, who we can buy and um, we can really kick on with this team. So I'm just going to have a look at the team here. Of course, we've got massive players in this team, uh, extremely highly rated players, but um, there's always room for improvement. And uh, with, the, with the big money injection, I'm hoping that we, that we can push on. So yeah, of course, we're going to put Kane as captain. Um, I like to play Ericsson a little bit on the, on the wider side to play the through balls through. So we're going to get him out wide and then uh, Dali Ali through the middle. And then, of course, uh, get old Eric Dyer back in the squad. I think he's been missing lately. So through to injury, but of course, performances as well. So yeah, Eric Dyer definitely going to be back in my starting 11. Um, we're going to move Son a little bit higher up in the field, move him towards the left. His uh, rating goes extremely high. So um, yeah. The areas that I would like to strengthen in the squad, I don't actually know. Um, we could possibly get another centre mid. Of course, Harry Winks. I do like Harry Winks, but he's uh, 78 rated. We could get maybe someone a bit higher in there. And uh, I do like uh, Kyle Walker-Peters on the on the right back, but of course he's low rated. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm just going to run through the team very quickly. Uh, just put a couple of players out on, on loan. Um, if there's any, any players that you suggest that I should sell and move on and... And do that. I'm pretty open to all the players. I'm not going to try and keep it, um, keep this core squad like I normally do in my other series. But um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Let me know who to buy, who who to sell. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to put all of these guys on and get these two goalkeepers on the loan list. Yeah, I don't know what they're capable of. Of course, we're going to move into the emails here. Nothing special. The usual, the usual messages coming through. Yeah, just a couple of messages coming through for the budget and the schedule for August. And of course, our season targets and objectives. So yeah, we are just our assistant coaches approached us here with uh, Ryan Sessignon. Um, they would like to get him involved as a, he's a younger player and hopefully he can build up some experience in this pre-season competition. So we got Inter Milan up in the first match. Uh, just going to rotate the team a little bit, put a couple of the young guys in, some of the guys that don't play that often and just uh, see what they're capable of. I'm going to go ahead and skip all the, the International Champions Cup games uh, pre-season and just get straight into the into the main season. Um, so hopefully we'll get some game ac action in the in the next episode. So yeah, 0-0 no, no draw in the first game up against uh, Inter Milan, but we've got Juventus next. Of course, it's the big guns and they're extremely strong in pairs 2020. Wow, um, very difficult team to come up against. Of course, we're rotating the team a little bit again and boom, 3-0 loss against Juventus. But um, that's what pre-season is all about, rotating some of the players and just getting a couple of the guys involved and getting match fit. Um, this one against Real Madrid, I'm going to just uh, get an auto lineup here and just select by form and hopefully they can do the business and we get a 1-0 loss. Not too bad, but um, yeah, like I said, that's what preseason is all about. So yeah, I've just gone ahead and added a whole bunch of players, uh, 78 to be exact, whole bunch of players um, to the, to our, our list, our, our short list if you want to call it. And uh, yeah, just let me know if you what you guys think of any of these players. Um, I haven't had added a lot. Uh, well, there is a lot, but I mean, 
um, there's a lot more that can come onto this list. These are just players that I enjoy play with, playing with in pairs. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If there's anyone that stands out there, please leave some comments in the in the bottom. And yeah, hopefully we can get a couple of these deals over the line and really push on and make a massive season for Tottenham, which uh, Pochettino didn't manage to do. So um, yeah, at the recording of this of this video, Tottenham is currently sitting in 14th position, and um, that's not where they're supposed to be. We sh they, they should be really high up in the in the table. So hopefully Diego Maradona can do the business. So yeah, I'm just uh, tweaked the, the squad a little bit here. Um, I actually prefer uh, Ericsson a little bit more central as his rating does go up extremely high, 88. So I think we'll get him more of attacking midfielder on the right hand side. Of course, Sun playing more on the left wing side, cutting in with that incredible right foot. And of course, his speed and dribbling is extremely strong there. So we'll definitely use him out wide. And then, uh, yeah, we don't need a goalkeeper on the bench. Um, I would like to move all four of those goalkeepers on and maybe just get one up-and-coming young goalkeeper or whatever you guys suggest, maybe a more experienced, maybe a buffoon or something like that. But, um, yeah, I think, it could, I think it could be fun. And, uh, yeah, we just look at the club ranking. Currently sitting in eighth in the world. I actually thought it was going to be a bit lower, but, yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. Hopefully we can get Tottenham up to, to number one. Actually sitting higher than Man United there, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, um, very, very quick episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I won't do any transfers or move on from here until you guys give me some suggestions. So um, yeah, uh, as you can see, they have got 415 million pounds in the bank. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Cheers, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button in the bottom left corner if you want to check out the next episode of this series. Click in the top right. And of course, if you want to see some data pack faces, uh, just click down here below. On to the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.